as a woman in leadership, it's difficult here in the Philippines, especially because um, women are often seen as weaker. And when you do yell even louder, you're seen as feisty or angry or crazy. And it's just, it's so frustrating. And what I do to overcome these obstacles is to ground myself and to remind myself that this type of thinking shouldn't be normal, but it is something that the system is perpetrating and encouraging. And so that's what we have to fight back against. A lot of what Youth Advocates for Climate Action Philippines, which is the Fridays for Future of the Philippines, does is raise awareness about the climate crisis. Now we have this chance to have a reset and invest in renewable energy and invest in more sustainable energies. And the post-COVID world would also ideally be one where we are finally protecting and, and prioritizing people and planet over profit. If you want to be a leader, well, a lot of it will stem from, as cheesy as it sounds, believing in yourself um, and surrounding yourself with people who are supportive and surrounding yourself with people who are safe with your aspirations of being a leader, remember the people who need your help and do, who need your empowerment. There has to be a special focus on women because there is a systemic um, injustice being done to us. And if, if we're not, if we don't talk about it specifically, it will be swept under the rug and, and ignored. Women are powerful, women are amazing. We can do anything. We can take over the world if we wanted to. <laughs>